Okay, this video is called How the Revolution Changed My Life. Okay, now back in, I believe it was January, early January 2014, uh, when we had the Republican presidential debate out in Boca Raton. You know, they had the debate at my school, which is FAU, out in Boca Raton, Florida. You know, at that point, I really wasn't too big on politics. I really didn't care anything about politics. But I'm like, okay, let me join this presidential debate, see what's going on. Let me hear what these folks have to say. So, you know, we heard Giuliani, you know, uh, uh, Frank Thompson, whatever that idiot name is, McCain, all these other people speaking. Then when Ron Paul came up to speak, I'm like, okay, who is this old funny looking dude? Now he said some shit. I'm like, did he just say that? About black people? I'm like, no way. This this guy's crazy. So, you know, after the debate, you know, I went and spoke to Ron Paul for a bit. You know, like he 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 was just on he was just real. Like T Mont real. You know. I explained to him, you know, my affiliation. You know, he 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 didn't criticize me, stereotype me, or condemn me about, you know, my gang affiliation. He's just like, you know, he supports freedom for all. As long as I don't involve innocent people in my ignorance, you know, that's that's the great thing about freedom. Do what you do. And I'm like, for a presidential candidate to tell somebody, which I consider myself from the streets, that he supports me and my, I guess criminal organization that shit was just real to me so, you know after that debate i'm like all right let me do a little bit more research on what this man stands for you know and the more and more i learned about him i'm like this man represents me in every way so i'm like this man wakes up every morning fighting for my freedom to be ignorant i'm like i have to represent this man you know although you know I have a ignorant criminal past. You know, this man changed me and want me to do better. It's like, I'm over here killing my own kind, my own race, and then running when the government comes. Like, my people is not the enemy. It's these people that, that divide us and make us want to battle each other, that make money off of selling us the guns and locking us up. That's the real enemy. So, you know, ever since I learned about Ron Paul, it's like, I'm going to dedicate myself to, you know, preaching and educating others on his ideology, which is civil liberty, lower taxes, and sound money. Gold and silver. You know, printing money is what got us into this financial situation that we're in to this day. So at the end of the day, no matter what it is that, that intrigues you in life, it always boils down to the Federal Reserve. You know, ever since I follow Ron Paul, you know, I've been wanting to get in politics. You know, and me being a part of the revolution, meeting up with people that I met up with, you know, got me connected with a, with a whole bunch of different folks. You know, Tampa is what really changed my life. Because after I came back from Tampa, I was recruited to, you know, help on the Carter Kessler campaign. You know, that, that, that built my resume a little bit. You know, then we just, we, we, you know, we, we. Other than Paul Fest out in Tampa, you know, we've been having these Ron Paul Rock Fest in different locations in Georgia and, and in other states. So, you know, right before Election Day, November 3rd, we had the Nashville Music City Liberty Fest. You know, just a little gathering to let people know, hey, we know Gary Johnson is not going to win. Miss Jill Steinstein, I apologize for mispronouncing the name, but you know her from the Green Party. She's not going to win. So, you know, it's letting people know, hey, the fight is not over. Like, we're just getting started. We we know that, you know, our candidate's not going to win. It's going to be either four years of Obama or eight years of Mitt Romney. Let's just, you know, keep the momentum going and keep fighting. So, you know, I was in the process of, I guess, announcing my candidacy for either state house or Congress in early January 2013. Then I got a phone call from the Robbie Carwell's campaign asking me to be his state coordinator. You know, I, I met Robbie a few times, and, you know, he's a real cool dude. He's down to earth. He's not a grown politician. So when I got that phone call asking me, you know, to be a state coordinator, how can I turn out an opportunity like that? So, you know, I decided to put my little political career on the side for the moment, 
to you know join this 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 nationwide organization because you know the revolution grows you dig like Ron Paul's getting ready to ret uh, has retired but you know the throne ha the throne has to go to somebody he has to pass the torch to somebody somebody that's gonna be there and fight for the people but yeah that is how the revolution changed my life and the Fed 2012 is the website you know go check out the event page to find out when is the next or where the end of fed events will be located i believe the next set date for the next rally is february 16th go to music city liberty fest to stay updated with the music city liberty fest i believe the date for that is april 6th we're gonna hold that in atlanta robert carwell 2016 is the official official presidential campaign website make sure you check that out as well Yo, time is now. Peace, love, and unity. My soldiers, I salute y'all. Y'all know what it is. Holla at me.